Amy from Simply Organized here. Today I want to talk to you around the hot tip of um, organizing and decluttering the kind of bits and bobs you have around your home. So as you can see up the top here, I'm actually standing in my laundry and I keep my things in little containers that are labeled so that I can best know where everything is in our home. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of tour. I'll hop out of the way. Um, so we have our sponges and building bits. So the sponges are all sponges that we use for cleaning as well as for cleaning the car. Building bits are nails and screws and parts of things that when we get them we don't we no longer need. You can see that we've got string and rope, gloves, protection which is eye masks and face masks, car wash uh, stuff that we need, globes, sewing kits and fabric, ball pumps, sticky wall hooks, glue guns, batteries down the bottom and I'll just run you across the top. All right, and I'm back. Uh, so what I find really helpful is that by having a con labeled container for each of these areas, things go back where they belong. And when we need something like we needed a mouse trap this week, it was really simple. I just said to my husband, they're in the mouse trap box. He came in, grabbed what he needed, and we caught the little mouse um, that evening without having to trip to the shops or anything like that. And so it is really helpful when something breaks, we know how to fix it. Uh, when the car needs washing, we know what we need. And so I encourage you to try and categorize the things that you have, whether it's in your laundry or in a cupboard or in a shed, just so that you can really easily access them and you don't keep things that you're really never going to go to. So my encouragement today is to declutter your bits and pieces around the house, categorize them, put them in containers and label them clearly, and you'll actually be able to use much better what you already have in your home. So declare those today and enjoy the freedom.